Mario, uh, cosmology has become a remarkable precision science with right. an enormous n amount of data in just a very sh short number of decades. Uh, transformation from really metaphysics or philosophy of, uh, of uh, just kind of uh, bull sessions into real astonishing data. Um, when you started, when we started uh, in, in science, uh, nobody ever thought that was even remotely possible. Um, I, so I understand all that, but if we, if we reflect on the so-called philosophy of cosmology in saying what are the implications of everything that we're learning uh, in terms of human place in the cosmos or the nature of reality, uh, what, what can you, we begin to say? So I can talk at great length about our place in the cosmos. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how this will relate, but you, you will be able to tell to the fine-tuning concept. And my point is the following. What we have discovered in the past century or so is that from a physical perspective, our place in the cosmos has become smaller and smaller. Namely, you know, well, it all started with Copernicus, who taught us that we're not the center of the solar system. Then we discovered, you know, we now know that in the Milky Way galaxies there are billions of other solar systems with planets roughly like ours. Uh, in, in the galaxy itself, the solar system is not at the center. It's about two-thirds of the way out. Um, there are, we now know, about two, two trillion other galaxies than the Milky Way. The number keeps increasing. I remember yes, when it was 100 million. That's right. 100 billion. So, yeah, <laughs> so it's, you know, it, between a few hundred billions and a few trillion <laughs> uh, uh, galaxies in the observable universe. And now we're even talking multiverse, okay. that maybe even our entire universe is just one member of an ensemble of a huge number, almost infinite un ensemble of universes. So from a physical perspective, our place has diminished and diminished. However, notice that from a philosophical perspective, at the same time, what has happened is that every sentence I said before actually represented a human discovery. Yeah, yeah. When Copernicus found what he found, a human discovered that. Then Harlow Shapley discovered we're not at the center of the Milky Way. Then Hubble discovered yeah. there are other galaxies. Now we're talking multiverse. These are all human discoveries. In other words, as our universe expanded, it expanded just as fast as our intellectual horizons have expanded. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, we actually play a central role in this grand <laughs> scheme of things. Isn't it amazing that all this has been discovered in, it's been a few thousand years of even written human history, a few hundred years of, of real science, barely a, a century of modern uh, uh, general relativity, quantum mechanics in terms of physics, and all this unbelievable detail about how it all works in such a short period of time. Is, 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 there, something, is there something deeper there? <laughs> you know, I, I, Einstein is often quoted, it's not, those were not exactly the words that he used, but it's often quoted like this, that the most incomprehensible thing about the universe it's is that it is comprehensible. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, Indeed, I think it is amazing that, you know, we, with our apparently not that strong <laughs> brain, you know, we can actually explain all of this. And of course, you know, technology had a lot to do with the fact that, you know, we discover new things, better telescopes, larger telescopes, observing different wavelengths. Mm -hmm. Just during the past year, we discovered gravitational waves. So now we opened a new window on the universe. Mm. So all of this, of course, allow for this new discovery. Uh, what are the um, implications of the discoveries in cosmology for traditional religious views, uh, particularly from the Judeo-Christian tradition? Uh, I have uh, friends uh, who are uh, very religious people. Uh, one of them, unfortunately, passed away two years ago, but. Um, who are excellent scientists, superb scientists. Uh, and I actually asked some of them, you know, what is their view? How do they view this? Because, mm. you know, there are various people and there are many religious people, many scientists. These are very religious scientists. How do they see what happens, mm -hmm. you know, in physics, cosmology? And 
all the people I talked to, I, I'm not saying that this is necessarily everybody's view, but mm. the, all the people I talked to came back with the same answer, mm. which was, they said, look, I actually believe that everything that we see goes by the laws of physics. You know, if I want any phenomenon to explain it, to make predictions, it's all, it's all the laws of physics. But who determined what the laws of physics are, that's where they bring in the deity. Mm. So to them, you know, God determined what are the laws of physics, and then basically everything follows the laws of physics. Mm. Uh, how do you feel about that? I'm not a religious person myself, so, you know, there is this extra step of saying everything behaves by the laws of physics, and then the extra step is God determine the laws of physics. To me, you know, the laws of yeah. physics are what the laws of <laughs> physics are. It doesn't mean that somebody had to determine what those laws are. So to you, the laws of physics might be, as we call a brute fact, or something that's there that's unexplainable and, well, in and particular, that doesn't bother you. Well, in particular, if there is a multiverse, which is essentially infinite, it could in principle be that every combination of laws of physics is out there in one of these members of the multiverse. And then we, of course, find ourselves in one of those universes where the laws of mm. physics allowed for our existence. But you still need a, a, a series of meta-laws to generate a multiverse to come to that conclusion. So you, you, you've just... You, you need you've just changed level of assumption. So, so you've just uh, changed the level of which you've asked the question, but it's the same question. That's true. It's the same question, you know, how did we get there? Yeah. <laughs>